Nope. Weapons in Goldeneye didn't do that anyway. Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. <sighs> yeah, they did. For the N64? <laughs> no, they were just laying on the ground. Anyway. No. Uh, appraisal? Uh, well, let me... <laughs> I'm just glad that Solaire is just... And that every time I look back I should at probably the, put uh... some tanks in that. I know you greedy bastard. Yeah. Well, you know. Or I could just do that. Uh, you notice it is a silver dagger with a pearl handle. Could easily fetch around 500 gold. <laughs> Yoink. <sighs> and that's pretty much all of interest in here. Okay. Um... Pick a direction, any direction. I need to get up to the map. Well, first of all... I'll go our heads to the uh... northernmost hallway. Uh, by the way, just going to say this. Wall. Wall. I, I, yeah, I figured. I'll roll a perp check. Okay. You are stealthy in an Me? empty house. Hey, we don't know this whole th fucking thing's empty. Well, you look up and there are bats. It's not empty that, either. That doesn't mean shit. I'm this way, I'm this way yeah. with the walls. Uh, let's see here. You got... Door right here, double door right oh, here, what? door right here, and door at the end of the hallway. At this door, this door, peace. Peace. I fucked up, by the way. Don't don't count that roll. Whoopsies. Right. Learn to read. Is this door open or closed? Uh, there we go. Give me one second. Let's see here. That is C12. Ah, here we go. Uh, closed. I will check the door for any kind of fuckery. It's locked. Jammed. Stuck. Won't budge. Check it for any kind of traps. No traps. We'll try to unlock it. It takes you one minute to unlock the door. And this and it looks to be a food store. This storeroom is half filled with crates, barrels, and large sacks of grain. A small hole has been chopped into the lower half of one of the barrels, allowing pickles and brine to drain out to give the room a singular stink of vinegar. Pickles and eggs. You find uh, there are plenty of plenty of uh, barrels of pickles, and uh, yeah, just some uh, just some few things like mm, preserved meats and everything. You realize your stomach's growling. Yeah, Dean will eat some of the trail rations that he has with him. Okay. I'm not trusting anything I find in this house just yet. Okay. And uh, these doors are open. Okay. Hey. Uh, these doors are open too, just like you know. By the way, I rolled a perp check just here. This line okay. aside. Okay, one sec. Let me get up. Let me scroll up. Okay. 19. The first one was a fog up. Um, not going to check this room. 
Uh, I was just looking down that hallway first, mm. just in case I can see anything. Nothing really. Okay. I mean, let's see here. Ooh. Eh. Looks to. Eh. From that, you you kind of see a table. You don't see any movement, and not really much going on here. You do see Algar. what looks to be cards on that table. Algar takes a couple steps forward, and then, um, and then takes a peek around the corner. Rolls a perception. Right? Um, a D two. Uh, perception on what? Uh, well, I'm not gonna see anything, anyways. There's a perception here. Um, no, you will not see anything because the door's closed. Oh, well. I thought it was open. Whoops, it is. Well, my daughter steps into the room with the cards. Okay. You find 12, 12 uh, trolls. <laughs> anyway, so let's see here. An open flight of wooden stairs wind up to a trap door in the ceiling 30 feet above you. Uh, that's what the staircase is. And let's see here. You find uh, cards upon that table. Uh, looks to be a deck of 43 cards cobbled together from three different sets of cards, making the rules as they go along. You, you, you think that these guys are either geniuses or stupid. Now, I'm going to take a guess and there aren't actually 12 trolls in here? No. Okay. Because there are 12 trolls in there, they'd already be in there. And they would, they would be, be of, it, would, it would be kind of a tight party. Algar just throws a barrel of oil and ignites it by punching it. Oh, Akbar! Oh. I, I, ask Algar. A, I ask if anyone wants to play cards. Algar shrugs and just. Upon hearing that Vadim makes his way into the room and takes a look at said cards. Now yeah, I. I throw the cards in the air and shout, 43 cards pick up! Oh, you... <laughs> no, no, no. Vadim has a reason to look at cards. Vadim has a good reason to look at cards. <sighs> Vadim begins picking up the cards and looking through them. Now, let's see. You're seeing a lot of normal playing cards here and there. Until you count to 23 and 40. Wait, what? You found two okay. cards. Wait, what? You found two cards. Okay. So now there's 45 cards. No, no, no. No. Uh, what cards do you already have? Uh, just twin. Okay, you have twin. All right, give me one second in order to look up cloud cards real quick. Because I haven't really gone shopping on them no mackenzie hmm are you not gonna join them up there oh shit womp, womp, womp. then a dragon just pokes his head head into the room sees ivan and just opens his jaws and just tries to bite her hi pretty it. hi lizard you're a pretty big lizard holy shit <laughs> You know, there's a lot of toys that are made based on your stat, on your form. Let's see here. You find the shot? Pungin? The what? You find a card that states it's the shot. Okay. And then another that states the shield. Shield. Hmm. When it comes to the shield, as soon as you put it within your other within your deck with other cards, you automatically feel an effect. You don't know what the effect is, but you automatically mm. feel something happening. Uh, 
The green looks at his deck for a minute and just kind of goes, huh. Upgrades. Ogdar looks at Vadim and looks at him put a card in his deck and just raises an eyebrow. And then, in the, without saying another word, he... Well, um... Would Spellcraft do anything on the cards? I don't... He can. But I need to roll them individually? Yeah. So, one and two. Well, nope. those suck. <laughs> They're cards. They're rather flat. Uh, I'll try again later. It's not time to be taking minutes. Uh, just... Vadim is still trying to recover from Ogdar's new headband. Pretty much. He just slides the deck back into its holder and continues on. But, yeah, no. Uh, besides the ten platinum pieces on the table, nothing else is in here. Which Algar was the first one to go in the room, so Ah shit. Alright. So what he didn't notice. I rolled a perception check and I could see the table and what then was on it. Even though it might have been from the hallway, I could still see the table. Fuck you. He he would have noticed the ten platinum. Yeah. So then what, I get them? Yep, if you want. No. Okay, well, I'll go, of course I'm going to take the 10 flat. Which is equivalent to how much in gold? 100. 100? Got it. Okay. I'm done. 100 gold per platinum, I think. No, yeah, 10, 10 gold 10 per plat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, you guys may continue. Okay. Check. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, door locked? Uh, give me one second. C14, C14. No. Oh. Guess who's uh guess who's in the uh chat? Hi Coro. Hello. I think freaking Headbox chat is acting up. It's not displaying any of the custom emotes or anything like that. Let me I try. I didn't even know Cora was in chat. I can do it. Oh, no, <laughs> I do. I don't know. Ah, I just, uh, yeah, I refreshed everything. Yeah, I did that earlier. Well, I mean, I can do it. It's displaying. It's just... No, I see it popping up for other people. It's just... Oh, yeah. Coral's here. Anyway, so... Yeah. Um, the door's unlocked. You may open it. Okay. Ogdar slowly opens the door. Listening to it creak from age and un and unwieldy, only amounts of disrepair, and then steps or, you takes know, a. It, it swings open with a little with a little tiny creak. That too. You look at steps it, and it's well oiled. Well. But in here, you find bunk beds. Uh, okay. Empty. Empty. Empty bed. Un okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Aldar looks to see if there's a. I know, I'm sorry. I'm normally in descriptions. I'm sorry. I don't see a problem with it. Well, I mean, he's the dungeon master, so he he's the one who describes the environments. I'll just describe things in both my character. Anyways. Okay, so I'm rolling a perception check because I'm searching the underneath the beds and stuff and under the covers. Nah, you find you find nothing of interest in here. Just some uh maggot written mattresses. Ogdar shakes his head scratches his head. A well oiled door, but uh, these beds are in such disrepair. He doesn't think too much on it. It's 
done the smartest of half orcs, and then just walks back out and joins the party back in the back in the card room. Yep. All right. Vadim looks around at the rest of them and says, "I say we check the rest of this floor before we go trying any stairs." Okay. I haven't found anything interesting. <clears throat> Let me try the door to the north. Okay. I'll knock on the wall. I'll ask the worms if there's anything interested in the In the work. Well, I... Well, I guess I'll go look in... This is a... Okay, so I'm curious. So this is open right here. Yes. And this is the same floor, correct? Yep. Right here? Okay. Yeah, they're the same floor. Uh, doors yeah. unlocked for you. I'll, I'll knock on the wall and ask the worms if there's anything interested in the building. Yes. Well, Ogdar slowly walks over towards the open and do- double doors. Ask, and before you ask, no, none of them are wizards. Ah, Jesus, you're referencing that? No, I'm just saying that they, they if it's a magical item, they have no idea if it's a magical item. They just know that there are interesting things here. Oh, I thought you were referencing something. Whoopsie. Um, Ogdar is going to take a step. Are these doors open? Nope. Uh, Ganon. Ah, ah. Back, back. Through the wall, obviously. Back, back, bitch. (laughs) Smack. Smack, smack. All right, so Gannon, are you going to check the door to the north there? Yeah. Okay, give me one second. That's C20. Uh, C20. Uh, C20 is right up. Way down here. What the hell? Oh, this door is locked. I'm going to leave it alone because I can't pick locks. Oh, you could always break it. When, he sees, when the Deem sees the cannons having trouble opening the door, it's, it's, excuse I wasn't me. going to. <laughs> I know. Uh, are these doors locked? I'm just curious. But don't. They're, they're locked? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's a strength check to break down doors, right? Yep. Um, what would... If Ogdor would put his ear up to the door and try to listen for sounds, that'd be perception, right? Or no? That'd be perception. Okay. Ogdor puts his ear up to the door, listening for any sounds that are in the room. Uh, Vadim, disable device check. Yep. Uh, you unlock the door. Uh, you hear nothing. Is that the door to the north okay. or the door to the west? North. North. north okay. North. Okay. Get a roll strength check then. I and I think. Let's see here. The, let's, this foul-smelling butchery is a horrifying affront to all the senses. Haunches of poorly smoked meat hang from the hooks along the ceiling or lie heaps in and atop crates. In some cases, the meat seems to be dog or horse, but in many others, the meat is as an all too recognizable features like feet, hands, faces. Oh, okay. So it's a strength check to break shit, right? Yes. D20 plus three. And basically, you can surmise this is another goblin food store. Okay. By attempt to break down the door. Yeah, it's a really horrifying sight in there. That's why the grin was a little shaky. And yeah, you break those doors down with such force that uh, pretty much everyone, well, it pretty much echoes throughout the entire building. Everyone hears a kraboom! Vadim face palms. Ogdar smiles proudly. It's coming from your guys' no, left. No mere wood has been able to stop Ogdar the Thrasher. I draw an arrow and knock it. 
Okay. At a closed door. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna close the door to the north and try the door to the west. Uh, um, you hear the raggy train. You open the door right as raggy goes right through the wall. R D twenty plus nine. Perception check in the room. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. Uh, let's see here. What room is this? C19. C19. Uh, also, how am I terrible? I don't understand. What? No, that that was... Uh, the, no, that was from before. No, you, you get another one now. Why? I just broke a door! <coughs> Damn! Stop. God, I'm gonna punch you in the soul. This large throne room is decorated with hanging furs along its walls. Mostly black and red striped fire pelt skins. Various dog pelts, and in some cases, what looks like horse hides. Uh, four square timbers support the ceilings. Their faces studded with dozens of iron spikes, with the lower reaches decorated with dozens of impaled and severed hands in various stages of decay. To the northeast, a wooden platform supports a throne heaping with dog pelts and horse hides. Dog skulls adorn the armrests, and a horse skull leers over the throne's back. Okay. Well, um, garbs. So where would be the horse skull? It would be like right here? Yeah, it's on top of the throne. Okay. Oh, Algar slowly picks up the horse skull, judges its weight in his hands for a moment before or slowly tossing it over to the group that just emerged into the room, letting it hit the ground on close to Vadim's and Ganon's feet with a loud uh, clank. By the way, there's uh, something else. Hmm? Well, Is that about it? no, no, not like that, but... You, you notice the dead bodies. Or goblins. All around. Mm -hmm. Especially this motherfucker that's on the throne. Poor dude. Nope. I feel kind of bad for him because, you know, he has, um... 12 daggers stuck in him. One pinning his full... One pinning his head to the back of the throne. Arms are stabbed through. Ooh, it's just a poor, poor mess. Uh, you see a lot of the goblins uh, around here, which you can surmise what happened to all the patrols here. Are riddled with arrows. Some are scorched with fireballs. This guy has a. This guy over here has an imprint on a face in his back. Um. A couple of them mm. have boot imprints on their butts. Well, time to search corpses. <laughs> Owen has six daggers stabbed into him and dead. I'll get Cora if you want. I mean, it's up to you. But, yeah, let's see here. Badim, badim. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I, sometimes I forget and retype the name. So, you do find a lot of things in here. Oh, yeah, a dead giant gecko, too. Hmm. Sorry, I forgot about the giant gecko. Detect magic? 
Yes. Yeah, there are so there are a lot of magical things in here. Is it coming from the throne area? I would, I guess, or maybe that table. Uh, let's see here. Throne, table, table. Uh, one, one sec. I want, I want to check real quick before I point at that room. Uh, let's see here. That room is twenty-one. So it's the legal drinking age. So it might be a brewery. Ugh. Gross. Twenty-one. Uh, yes, here too. Like barrels of brew? No, no, no. I mean, there's magic coming from here. Oh. Magic from this table over here, where you see some uh, piled-up goblins and the throne. By the way, when uh, Ogdor says monkeys, um, he doesn't mean that as like a racial thing or anything. It's just monkeys and metal men. You know, one breaks in and opens the door for the metal man to go break shit. Yeah. So interpretation is up to you. Oh. So you check you check the throne. Ah, uh, you find a couple of po like a uh, four potions. Find a breastplate looks really nice. A dog slicer, crown, dented. Oh, a key ring. Has a lot of keys. Looks like a janitor, so a janitor's key ring of sorts. I'm gonna look back at the locked door and then back to the key ring, then to Vadim with a soul smile. <laughs> Let's see. You find some studded leather scraps here and there. A whip, short swords, short bows, arrows, uh, more potions, and uh, a couple of sticks. On the table, you find potions and lotions, uh, plenty of things to give you some motions. <laughs> try this. I'm going to try this door, the east. Okay. Uh, oh. It's actually unlocked. Open says me. <laughs> well, that's, you're going to okay I'll, we'll wait for that this room contains a small armory of crudely made weapons mostly dog slicers and short bows and several small goblin sized suits of studded leather armor and dented shields two of the south stand a pair of workbenches but you'd probably find a few other things in here I wanted to make sure that room was empty before we start looking at things in detail. Yeah. And that same token, try this door to the north. Oh, right, there's a door to the north, damn. Eh, <laughs> uh, that's 23. Twenty-three, twenty-three. Target twenty-three. Oh, lovely! Several rugs made from dog or horse hair hide lie strewn across the dirt floor of the room. Along the north wall stands an impressive collection of horseshoes, each nailed to the wall. Actually, quite impressive. To the east sits a ragged padded chair next to a rickety desk that may have once been an expensive antique. To the west sits a canopy bed covered in with silk sheets and sporting a once impressive headboard that featured nymphs and satyrs cavorting in the forest. The bed sheets are stained with dirt while the headboard is bashed and battered. 
is a pity. Okay, so I guess no one's going to be checking for any magical presence that was coming from the magical presence in this room. Uh, they're, they're, it's quick. It's a quick check to make sure there are no goblins ready to slit your throat while you're paying attention to other things. True that. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna try and find C twenty four. C twenty four. C twenty four. What the hell is C twenty four? Algar looks at the rest of the group before announcing that. At is there anything? Is there any food around here? Any meat specifically? I'm fucking starving. Ganon points toward the southeast hallway. Ogdar goes there with glee. Huh. You want to know what's interesting? Mm hmm. I can't find C24. Great. The world doesn't exist anymore. Game over. <laughs> no, it's it's not upstairs and anywhere. No. It's not listed on the map. It's not C twenty four is not listed on the map, but they fucking have mm. up to C twenty seven in the freaking pages. But there's no like there's nothing down like upstairs for C's. They're all D's. Yeah, they're all D's. Basement? No, nah, there's only upstairs. Huh. I'm gonna check the other one just to make sure, like the other floor. And I swear to God, if it's not here, then I'm gonna make up some bullshit. Nope, those are E's. Well, time for me to craft bullshit. <laughs> By the way, to anyone who has a perception bonus, make a perception check. Oh, well, hmm. Gee, I uh, wonder if I have one of those. I'll roll as well. No, 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 you were busy with, you were busy, you were busy with hands, Carl. Carl! I haven't watched The Walking Dead, so if that's what you're referring no. to. Llamas with hats, be quiet. Oh. Hey, Ganon. Huh? You see something interesting underneath the, uh, underneath the throne here. Take a look-see. It's a trap door! Wow. Uh, hey. Vadim. Mm hmm? In that room... You find, um, let's see here. You find a, what you can surmise is to be a holy symbol underneath the pillow. And you find an iron, a large iron key wedged underneath the chair. Hey. Uh, knowledge religion on the holy symbol. Okay. Well, By the way, Zarek. Uh, Zarek, I did um, walk back into the throne room in the uh, in the written speak. Anyway, but so I, let's see here. Whatever. Three eye, three eyed fang jackal head with tiny garnets for eyes given. And you you've seen it before. This is uh, this is what a Lamash two usually looks like to her people. It's a silver one, too. Oh, the bag of holding it goes. Oh, Ganon. Uh, Crap door's not locked. Okay. 
A small, foul-smelling room features little more than a reeking hole in the ground. Its rims stained with refuse and waste. I always get gnaw and gnaw confused, so... Whoopsies! Chop. Well... Open the trap door. Alright. Uh, if you wish, when you go in, make another search check. Or perception. Good job. Uh, let's see here. Although goblins are prone to relieving themselves in the wild, or off the edge of the cliff outside, some of them sometimes remember that they're supposed to keep this latrine looking used. In fact, the west wall of this nasty-smelling room hides a secret door. You look inside this room, and there's a heavy iron padlock on a big, giant sea chest. Hmm. Poke my head up from the uh, <clears throat> septic tank. <laughs> Whistle to Vadim and say, I found a chest. What a coincidence. I found a key. <laughs> Perhaps there are matches. <laughs> oh, God, what in the hell? <laughs> I, I love it. I love that was that. so. That was so. That was so good. It was, it's hard to believe that was fake. Bravo, bravo. The dean wraps his cloak around the lower half of his face a good two or three times, <laughs> and slowly descends. And, okay. Uh, you find the chest. Has a lock. Yes, the I shall try the key. I have a quick question. Actually. No, 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 no. Hmm. There is no actually. You tried the key. All right. Which way do you turn the key? Oh Jesus. <sighs> there, 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 there is a wrong answer to this. It's a tarp. It's a tarp. Well, most keys have it so you turn it, and it left to unlock things. Shut up. Thinking. But Deem's like, shit. There's a <laughs> there's there's a little there's a little thing that says, do you turn left or right? Well. I guess Ipen's just hanging out near the flesh room. Looking at the chest, what kind of construction is it? Is it like just... It's a wooden sea chest. Wouldn't it just be easier to break than wood? Detect magic on the chest? Uh, a few things in there. Mm. Um, um, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. You should, should you roll another perception check just in case you can see stuff like there's holes in the floor. You look down into them and you see you know, long, long, sharp spikes just waiting to be pushed up in, into your body. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Meeny, meeny, money, money, counterclockwise. So you turn it left. Yes. You, we, we need this. We, we need this GIF added to, uh, well, we need this, we need this picture or something. Just find the link, hit exclamation mark post, and then post, and then paste it okay so exclamation mark exclamation mark post <laughs> ah, jesus 
Oh well, shit happens. I don't have the chat yeah, open, so I can't it's... see it. You have it, chosen uh... poorly. The sea chest is trapped. Courtesy right. of one of cheap Rip Nuggets' predecessors who had great talent for such devices. The trap triggers if the chest is attacked, if the lock is attempted to pick, or even if the lock is tried with the proper key and turned left instead of right. Actually, pretty, said... pretty good, huh? When triggered, a rusty blade of jagged metal springs out of the chest's lid. The blade was once poisoned, and while the poison has long since decayed, the blade still has a great chance of giving victims tetanus. Hmm. Reflex. Uh, let's see here. You... And it doesn't exactly state that there's a reflex save. It's, hey. an, it's an attack roll. Alright. Wee. The magic number is... 20. 20. Matched. Okay. Unless the effect of putting that shield card into my deck was increasing it by a point or two. Oh, you remembered that, you... <laughs> you fucking A I did <laughs> What you think I am Hades Fuck you I remember <laughs> everything So You're a good boy As you go like Oh shit As a giant scythe blade Comes out of the lid of the chest And goes to strike you And you feel like it would have if not for a lum glowing luminescent, what's your uh, what's your IME color? Uh, kind of a shadowy gray. As a shadowy gray shield stops the blade and snaps it in half. Yeah. The dame looks at Ganon with a slight smirk, and Ganon could swear that he winked behind those goggles. Uh been a while since your card caster abilities came into play, hasn't it? I know, right? Yeah, yeah it has. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to call the session there for tonight because I have to roll up some treasure. As you open, yeah. as you open up the sea booty, and uh, the booty, and a booty comes out right into your face. It's Ipens. <laughs> no. You gotta eat the booty like groceries. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you're, we're still not done with this part of the with this part of the adventure yet. So you do not get. We are not going to split experience points at this time. You will get a lump sum at the end of this adventure. More than likely, it'll knock you up. I'll get you close to fifth level. I, I can't make a case for a small bonus for the hacking and choking. <laughs> that that would, that would be a good one hundred points there. Why, thank you. Anyway, uh, folks, we're going to call that an early session for tonight. You all have a wonderful evening. And hopefully our poor little adventurers will choose wisely next time. Hey, you know what? Yeah, I chose fuck. poorly. It all worked out in the end, just like it always does. Indeed. Fucking, fucking Vadim, man. He has so much bullshit, it's all redacted. Anyway... You all have a wonderful evening, and as always, I've been your illustrious host, Lord Zed Tigredius Haruk. And remember, folks, I love you all. Good night. Good night.